Hello, I'm Dave Testa with Airstream of Buffalo. Today we're going to be looking about the uh, Airstream Flying Cloud 28RB. A little background about Airstream. Airstream is a company that has been in business since 1931 and they have never stopped building trailers. They're the only manufacturer that has been around that long. They've taken those decades of expertise and brought it into the 21st century with the new Flying Cloud series. If you're not familiar with Airstream, Airstream is the silver bullet. Airstream is the shiny metal trailer you see going down the road. This unique shape is aerodynamic and actually tows better than anything else on the market. Low center of gravity, the curved surfaces deflect the wind, trailers like a dream. The aluminum that's used in construction, both inside and out, will last literally decades. It's not unusual for you to see Airstreams still being used that were built in the 50s, in the 60s and 70s. There's no other manufacturer out there that can make that claim. In fact, Airstream says that up to 70% of what they've ever built is still in use somewhere in the world. So let's start talking about what makes this particular model so special. Right up in the front here, all Airstreams have a power tongue jack, two 30-pound propane tanks, two AGM maintenance-free batteries. The front curved surface here has this wraparound window. The panoramic window is unique to Airstream. These are rock guards to protect the glass from stones on the road. These are stainless steel stone guards to protect the aluminum body from stones on the road. The center portion you notice is hinged and comes up as an awning over this window. This window opens and is hinged up at the top so it opens almost fully 90 degrees. There are several windows on the Airstream that are built like this. In fact, this one has seven windows that open that wide. It's a huge amount of fresh air. Let's walk around the other side here. A unique aluminum folding step. This is unique to the Airstream. It's custom made for Airstream. All aluminum construction will not rust. When it's folded up, it is flush with the bottom of the body. If you take a look here where the aluminum ends, you see the black right down here. The bottom of this Airstream is wrapped in aluminum. So there is no plastic covering under the bottom of the chassis. It's not open to the road. That allows Airstream to heat the basement or the under portion below the floor so that water lines don't freeze in the wintertime. It also makes the trailer more aerodynamic, being completely smooth across the bottom. Your door on an Airstream is built like a bank vault. This door takes one man at the factory eight hours to construct. There are 16 welds in the door, 16 welds in the screen door, all aluminum again, an automotive style latching system. This is not the simple pin latch that everyone else uses. You cannot pop this open with a butter knife. This is the most secure trailer you can own. And when you slam the door on an Airstream, you can hear the quality. Moving on, we have our Zip D manual awning. In the Airstream line, they use manual awnings all the way up through Flying Cloud. They've been using this awning for decades. This is the kind of company that has the philosophy, if it's not broken, don't fix it. So this works, it's very reliable, no, move, no electronic or electric parts or motors. Upgraded for the 21st century using Sunbrella fabric. It's fade and UV resistant, mold and mildew resistant. Moving on. Airstream is very low to the ground compared to other trailers. You notice there are only two steps up, where most other trailers this size have at least three steps up because they're so high off the ground. So the reasoning for that is to have low center of gravity, low to the ground, so that this trailers smoothly and does not have a lot of sway to it. 
<laughs> All aluminum wheels on Dexter rubber torsion axles. So there's no rotating bar axle here. The axle is actually the sock absorber system. Very reliable, very quiet, smooth ride, great load capacity. This aluminum finish here, aside from washing and waxing it like you normally would do with your car, is pretty much maintenance free. It has an anti-corrosion coating that's applied at Alcoa aluminum when it's manufactured. And they use that both inside and out so that you don't have to worry about this getting all corroded. In fact, this coating should last at least 20 years. Um, and you can actually have it recoated at the factory after 20 years when it starts to break down. But it maintains the smooth look so you don't have to deal with that crusty, whitish corrosion that aluminum gets. You've all seen patio furniture that looks like that. Coming around the back, Another big window, this is in the bedroom on this model, with its own little awning. Pretty unique to Airstream to have these side and rear awnings over the big windows. This helps the camper to maintain the cool temperatures by shading the windows from the sun. These are very simple, spring-loaded mechanisms. Again, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Simple as that. Storage compartment would be under the head of the bed, so that's what your door is here. This model has a steel bumper with storage for your outside equipment. The brake lights have a cast aluminum bezel. And then down the utility side of the trailer, we have another awning. Again, shading the windows and the side of the body from sunlight to help it maintain a nice cool temperature. So now we're going to head inside and you're going to see some unique things about an Airstream again, that no other manufacturer is bringing to market. So let's head in. Right away you'll notice the interior is skinned with aluminum, just like the outside. The reason for this is, no, is twofold. Number one, you have no possibility of any mold or mildew growing in this camper. The outside is aluminum, the ribs and the walls are aluminum, and the interior skin is aluminum. Virtually impossible for this camper to rot. The floor is a water and boil proof plywood that Airstream has been using since 2015. Essentially eliminates the rotted floor problem that most campers have when they get old. This material is like marine grade plywood. It does not absorb moisture. You'll notice there's plenty of storage space in an Airstream. You've got storage overhead cabinets all the way through from the bedroom, the dining room, the lounge, the kitchen, kind of like an airplane. So they got the lift up doors. Actually, this is a good example. And I want you to close up right here. All Airstream cabinetry is made out of plywood. There's no particle board used in the construction of this camper. The reason again is twofold. Number one, this plywood, imported Italian poplar plywood, is lightweight. It weighs at least half as much as regular particle board and it has no toxic chemicals used in the glue. So this is a green rated product. In fact, all Airstream trailers are green rated. They are the most environmentally friendly, no toxic chemicals or a minimum used in construction. And for people that are sensitive to chemicals, this is the number one choice. The other reason is weight. By using this material, it's much lighter in weight than the corresponding particle board would be, and it's much tougher. So your cabinet doors are not fragile, the, or the corners won't crumble if you happen to bump them. Airstreams did not built with any kind of slide out system. So what you're seeing is the space that you would get. In order to compensate for that, they have extra large windows. So if you take a look around, I've got big windows over the dinette, a wraparound window over the sofa, these porthole windows in the kitchen, these skylight windows and transom windows all through. By increasing the amount of light with the reflective aluminum surface, it's very bright and airy. You don't feel claustrophobic in an Airstream. Up in the front area, this is our lounge. This particular model has a L-shaped sofa that converts into sleeping. Next to the lounge, you've got 
your dinette on the other side of the door also converts into sleeping and then your master bedroom up front with a queen bed so this can technically sleep up to six people in the kitchen area we've got a cooktop and a convection microwave oven on this particular model that is an option that we ordered for our lot a vent hood vents to the outside high velocity fan residential quality stainless steel deep bowl sink residential metal chrome faucet plenty of storage space in the kitchen little spice rack shelf built into the wall here seven cubic foot dual fuel refrigerator propane and 12 volt so you've got separate refrigerator and freezer compartments these are the biggest refrigerators that airstream uses moving back down the hall your transition from the living area to the bedroom area your bathroom is on either side of the hall shower in here water closet in here You notice the hinges that they use on the doors in the Airstream are these full-length piano hinges. The reason they do this is as the trailer flexes it goes down the road, the doors can get a little out of shape. So this way they stay nice and square within their door frames. There's a hidden closet behind this panel, as well as two wardrobe cabinets in the bedroom, which you'll see in just a sec. So the rear bedroom on this model has a queen, RV, RV queen bed that lifts up to reveal extra storage space. And it's on gas strut. So it's very easy to operate. Airstream supplies several organizing tools like these plastic bins and storage tray to help you organize your stuff in storage. And then two wardrobe cabinets, one on either side. On some models, you would have a wraparound window in the wardrobe in the front hall. Depends on the layout, on the floor plan. But there's, let's see, three, six, seven windows in the bedroom alone on this model. Storage up there. Cutouts on the side. They have uh, USB charging inside the cutouts, so places to keep your gear. Televisions are Samsung or LG smart TVs in the bedroom and in the living room. On this particular model, it was ordered with the optional second air conditioner. Because of the length, 28 feet, it allows you to zone the bedroom separately from the rest of the camper as far as temperature. So you have your intake screens here, your filters, and your exhausts here with these directional vents. This is called the Quiet Stream Air Conditioning System. Airstream came up with this in 2015 and it's standard on all models, Caravel and above. It's like having central air versus a window air conditioner in terms of how quiet it is. This is still one of the quietest AC systems on the market. When this is running, it's very, very whisper quiet. Will not disturb you while you're sleeping. It also incorporates uh, heat pumps in both air conditioning units, so I can operate this as a heater down to about 40 degrees. If I'm in a campground where I'm hooked up to electric, I don't have to burn propane to heat the camper. We do have a separate propane fired furnace that operates above the floor with vents in the sidewalls. There are no vents cut into the flooring on most Airstreams. Everything is vented above the floor. When you have a floor vent, you can get all the pet hair and all the dirt inside the vent. And then when the furnace goes on, it blows it all up into the air. Nobody wants that. 
There's a couple of uh, skylights in, also on this model, one in the front hall, or the, uh, the hallway here, and they have blackout blinds as well. The curtains are made by Airstream. They are blackout curtains, and the roller shades from Ocean Air are blackout. So, great for sleeping. You wake up in the morning, you're not being woken up at 5 a.m. with the sunrise <laughs> if you like to sleep in late on your vacation. All right, so this is the Airstream Flying Cloud series travel trailer. There are over 25 different floor plans and sizes in the Flying Cloud series. There are some choices in terms of the interior colors, but pretty much all the features we just went over are common on every single one. The Flying Cloud is the number one series in Airstream's line. This is the most popular because it's the most flexible, and they are now offering a bunk bed option on all 25 and 27 foot models as well. I'm Dave Testa with Airstream of Buffalo. We're located in Orchard Park, New York. Come down and see us.